So the names that we're passing here are actually small letters, starting with um, small letter words. So we're going to force that to capital letters, the beginning of every word, by using PHP's um, special function called upper C words. So we say upper C words, field name. So we're going to pass a message and say field name cannot be less than and then what we're going to put in less than is actually field field rule one square bracket one so for example if we wanted to check that it's not less than two what that will be will be reading is field name cannot be less than two and we'll add an extra string here two in length so now let's actually go ahead and create this method called add error to field. Okay, so that would be after the add rule to field function, and that would be another public function. Actually, it would be a private function because users don't have to uh, be able to access that. So we make it private function add error to field, and the field name. This will have two parameters: is accepting, and the first one is field name, and the second is error message okay all right so we've done that so now let's implement that method so that method will actually be fairly simple the reason I'm having these methods calling each other is we want to break down our code so that we'll be able to easily um, change stuff because if we have everything in a function and the function is like very big it's going to be very hard to maintain all right guys okay so what we're going to do in this function is we're going to say this form is valid is false so anytime that we've added um, an error message to any field in the form we have concluded that form is not valid basically that's sensible logic it is that anytime that you have to call this message we just set this form is valid variable to false and what that does is sets this form is valid to false okay all right since we started out being true if this method never gets called that means everything in the field form is valid and we'll have to return true uh, with using when we call form is valid which the method which we're actually going to be creating soon okay so now that we said that form is not valid let's actually add the error message so we say this um field errors And the field name since th this is an array actually this so we're actually going to create a sub array which is this equal to um, error message sorry not create a sub array actually add an element inside of that this array over here okay so we add it add that message so now let's actually go and implement the case when it's empty so we're going to say if string length is the r string length dollar underscore post of the field name sorry is equal to zero okay we're going to we're going to be doing something very similar to this so let's say it's going to be the same actually but just the message that we're adding will be different so we say this add error to field and we're going to say what field we add want to add error to say field name say upper C words so basically we're saying that that field name cannot be empty so let's pass it field name and append that to a string that says cannot be empty okay so it seems like we're about done here so last thing we're going to do is let our script have the ability to output error messages on demand okay so let's say public output field error and the field error that we want to output is the field name that we want to pass here so field name and we say if is set um, um, 
we're going to be checking if there is um <clears throat> there is in the array of errors that is this field errors there is an associative array with the same name as this field name it's very good to be checking that so if it exists we're going to say for each of those um for each of the errors a eh, corresponding to that field that we want to output we're going to echo that um actual message inside of that error so we say for each this error field okay uh, we pass in the field name as field error we're going to be outputting that inside p tags and let's add a class to that p tag so we can actually style it so the errors will um, look very nice um, so we give it a class of error and inside here we actually output a message error message okay 